I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor, and we have breaking news. All right, so this is what we have right here. Bonnie is now a Category 2 hurricane with winds of 100 miles per hour. As you can see from the latest satellite imagery that eyewall is developing, uh, if we even take a look at the visible uh, high resolution right here, you can see that eye right there, very well defined. Although there is some clouds covering it, the eye is doing just fine uh, below, this, uh, below those clouds. And you can tell uh, by the organization of the structure that this thing's really tightened up. This thing really uh, ramped up in its intensity, and it's going uh, and it's going to continue through tonight. Now we have the latest information right here. Once again, 100 mile per hour winds, hurricane force winds extend out 25 miles from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend out 90 miles from the center. The minimum central pressure has dropped to 978 millibars, so that's something we need to take a look at. Uh, Bonnie continues to strengthen. We have the cone right here. It is expected to become a high-end Category 2 hurricane according to the National Hurricane Center tonight with winds of 110 miles per hour. Which would, which would tie it for Agatha's strongest hurricane in the Eastern Pacific so far. So we're going to have to pay attention to that. This cone will have it moving through the Pacific Ocean, eventually weakening to a tropical storm by, uh, by Saturday right here, uh, which, is, which is the five-day forecast. It's expected to remain a Category 2 hurricane until Thursday, start weakening at that point as it moves through cooler water and less, less favorable conditions. So we'll have to pay attention to that the next few days. Now we're going to go look at the track models and the intensity. The CTCI, interestingly enough, has this thing moving, kind of deviating, moving uh, to the west-northwest and then to the northwest, uh, off the, uh, kind of a few hundred miles away from Baja, California right here, which is interesting. But the rest of the miles have this have the same thing the cone does, which is a general west-northwest trend, and then to more due west, and then to... Uh, and then uh, it's back to west northwest. So we're gonna have to pay attention to that as time goes on. I think these models right here are what is going to happen. So we're gonna have, to, but we're gonna have still need to keep a close eye on it. Nevertheless, this is the intensity. Now a Category Two hurricane with winds of 100 miles per hour. Uh, majority of the models either have it keeping it there, going up to 105, or having it up to 110. The H Wharf has this at a Category Three hurricane. The CO uh, TI, which is the model that deviated, has going all the way up to Category 4, which I've said this once and I'll say it again, I don't think is going to happen. I think major hurricane status is possible, but at this point, Category 2, hur uh, category two hurricane seems the most likely. That being said, my est I'm changing my estimate from 100 miles per hour to 120 miles per hour to 100 miles per hour to 115. And we're already at that 100 mile per hour mark, so... That's basically, so that's basically uh, I'm right on the money when it comes to this. Shout out to Sarkar Pianist uh, for saying this wasn't going to be a Category 2 hurricane. Well, guess what? It's a Category 2. So, yeah, we've been having a little bit of a competition in the comments. So, yeah, go check out his channel or their channel. I'll leave a link to the description down below. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the models. Now, we have the HMON model right here. We're going to start uh, start this up. This thing kind of stagnates uh, for the next few days. It's slow it slowly kind of starts weakening and then it, and then if the HMON is correct, it starts strengthening up again and intensifies. This thing is up to category 2 status and then potential category 3 status. This thing ends up bottoming out bottoming out at 963 millibars right here as a potential category two, high end category 2 or low end category 3 hurricane right there. So this is a situation we need to develop, and then this thing kind of stagnates and starts weakening as the time progresses. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the GFS right here. The GFS is an interesting model we need to keep uh, continue to keep an eye on right here. So, okay, please excuse that. So that's basically what we're looking at. It kind of stagnates. It starts to strengthen up again, eventually bottoming out around 966 millibars as a high-end Category 2 hurricane. Then it starts stagnating and weakening and then moving out and kind of dissipating right there. So that's uh, what we're looking at with the GFS. Let's go ahead and take a look at the CMC because this is, we haven't seen one of this in a, these in a while. And the CMC, it's weak. They have this weaker than it actually is. It kind of has it as a low in category one, and then it starts just stagnating and 
uh, weakening, which we know that's not the, going to, uh, that's the case. It's already a category two. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the H Wharf model because this is the most aggressive model that I've been keeping an eye on. The H Wharf right here, as you can see, it starts stagnating and then it starts intensifying again down to 976 and then even further down to 900. It bottoms out at 960 millibars right there as either a low end, as either a high end. Uh, category two or low end category three right there. So this is an interesting situation. We have uh, uh, max winds at 850 uh, millibars, 133 knots. So that's equivalent to high end category three status right there at the uh, at the surface. So and if and for those of you who do not know, the Hurricane Hunters they fly 850 millibars. So that's basically the flight level winds we have right here. So that's the situation we're taking a look, a look at. This kind of thing kind of stagnates and starts slowly weakening. The H-Wharf is usually the most aggressive model. Now, I don't think high-end category three is likely at this point. My estimation is once again, 100 to 115 miles per hour at its peak. We're already at 100 miles per hour. So we're, we're in that range at this point. I think it's gonna continue to strengthen a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more. I think cat, low end cat three is possible. I th but I don't think anything above 115 is uh, is uh, going to happen at this time. I'll let you guys know as the situation develops. But with that being said, it's going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out. Helps me make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, guys, have a wonderful day. Hit the red subscribe button and stay safe.